Vixen, this is Love Vixen here, and welcome to the next episode of Pokemon Desolation. In the last episode, we made our way up here to Mount Verger. Um, did a bit of exploring, got a few things. In today's episode, we are going to be exploring Mount Verger to see what's going on. So if you're hyped for today's episode, please give me a big thumbs up on that like button down below, comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Now, before we begin... I'll give you guys a quick team recap. So we have Poliwag, Meowth, Rockruff, Grovar, Pidgeotto, and Nummel. We also caught a Shiny Lombre last episode, um, and I had a chat with a few people about whether he would be good over... Uh, whether Ludicolo would be good versus Lombre. And it depends on what we kind of use them for. Really, to determine what I use, I won't be using it. I won't be using Lotad, um, Lombre even, and the next gym because the next gym we got coming up as a flying type gym, so that's not coming. God, you're such an idiot. At least we're at our post on time. Why did I get paid with such a what the a trainer in Verger? Are you crazy? This is an active volcano. Ah, damn it! I do what you've got to do. Whatever, I don't like dealing with citizens, but the boss said to stop anyone coming through here. I won't hurt you, alright? So will you turn back, right? Nope. No, uh, damn it. I just have to put you down. No hard feelings. You basically knocked out your partner so you could get to work on time. Let's go. That was shells. Okay. I'm gonna go into Grovile, obviously, but the fact that we're battling in the volcano is quite bad. That... I'm not too sure what hidden power that was, but it didn't do that much damage. Oh yeah, and everybody I got up to level 24 as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'll go into... Uh, Remember the Sviper. And hopefully the do not paralyze me. They will yeah, the attack is repeated. Um uh, oh, I should have gone for magnitude. So I don't think we have a ground type move, but we do we have magnitude. It's fine. We should be able to take this out. And a mobile. Uh, really? I mean, I can understand getting like lynched, but not paralyzed as well. Um, Marwell is going to take itself out in a minute. Yep. I'm going to know it's a very effective bit. Just to finish off. The kid, how many times will this keep happening? Saying somebody else come for him, beat you? Damn it, just some random trainer. So just because you beat me, that doesn't mean this will go unnoticed. It was a one-off, a fluke. Damn it. It's time for one boss. Alright, so I'm probably gonna cut through when we, uh, cut to you when we get to the boss, okay? So you guys don't have to worry about me healing or anything like that. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys when we get there. Oh, hang on, something else has come up before we get to the boss. Alright, grunts! We've got a job to do, so I'll take make things really simple for you. You see anyone trying to come through? Take them down. We've destroyed the bridge, but those black boxes, you never know how persistent they are. Furthermore, you can never know when that Jim Lido wrench might interfere. Then you have to start something bigger than us. 
the journey greater than any you've ever embarked on. It allows us to question the possibility of a world that was previously untainable. The end is in sight as long as we continue forth. Okay. Fixin! I knew something bad was happening in here. It was so hot that my Pokemon won't stand much of a chance against anything. It doesn't matter though, because we've got to get through. Can't help much, but I think I've got a plan. Come on. Hmm. This might just work. Go, go, come out! <clears throat> go, go, go! Alright, go, go. Use rock smash on this thing. It worked. Come back, go, go. Well, I guess that's how you can make a path across, huh? I might hope we'll get slotted in here, so you can you make the path across by yourself. That sounds bad, but there isn't much I can do here. Hey, I can hear your Pokemon whenever you like, if that suits. The way they mix in. Cheers for the help, Ava. Right. Like I said, I'll cut to you when we get to the boss, or if we find anything that happens along the way. See you guys in a bit. Right, my game froze, so we are back <coughs> to doing this. I, Like I said, I will cut to you when we get to the big boss, but I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh, we got to see our polywag evolving into a poly world finally. Um, and I believe I need a King's Rock to be able to evolve it into a Holy Toad. And my Rock Rock is evolving. Oh, yes. Guys, so we um battled all the grunts and we've made it through on the path here. Thanks, Lixon. That saved me a lot of trouble. Now let's go see what's going on, shall we? I have a pretty bad feeling about this. It's probably because nothing really good happens in volcanoes, but I can't be sure. Yeah. And we also got a few items along the way, but... Oh, there's everybody dead. It was like it's Ava that she just went to town on them. Or not. Or well, somebody else went to town on them. No encounter space. I don't think that you quite realize what you're doing. This is a road for traveler, trainers and travelers. You're blocking it. So I'm kind of going to kindly ask you once why you thought that was wise. Have you ever laid eyes on the statue? Ever realized its purpose? There's a prophecy uh, etched upon it. When dust settles, when conflict is cast aside, only then will Vega open the great divide. Tell me, what do you think that means? We don't have time for your bedtime stories, loser. You're gonna open up that road. Prophecy states that when conflict is set aside, the heart of the mountain will rise. What could that mean, though? Conflict between whom? Maybe between you and the person you're pissing off? Me? I won't ask again, old man. This isn't your mountain, so scram. Aren't you even slightly interested in what this mountain really holds? Because I've already cracked the mystery. I don't care about any prophecies or mysteries. I just want to go home, and you're in the way. How utterly disappointing. Don't make me ask you again. It's over, and you're leaving. Is that so? Would you risk using grass type of one in a place like this? Sir? Is this really worth it? You see, we came here for the artifact. The artifact beloved by a certain Pokemon. Have you heard of the fire ring wing? It's an artifact that will attract a very special Moltres. Named the Moltres of this mountain. Why would we need such a Pokemon? What makes this Moltres so special? Look, I don't care. I'm done playing your games. I bet Vixen is too, so how about this? I beat you, you leave. If I win, then we leave. Hmm, I'm sure Bella would kill some time, wouldn't it? It's a shame though, I wouldn't have minded letting you to 
see the show afterwards. No matter, I'll accept your deal. Because I deal with the cocky guy while you deal with the grunt, okay? You understand me, me, trainer? I'm not, I'm no grunt, that's for sure. I'm a sizable cut above the rest. I'm certainly going to prove that to you. It's time to teach you a lesson, isn't it? Bring it on. You think you can teach me a lesson? And be my guest. Okay. I can back out. Uh, no, 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 and then I can switch. Into my like and rock. It's fine because we can get rock team. And that should take out the gold bat. <clears throat> yep. So now a haunter. Um. Yeah, actually, no, we'll switch back in. His ghost moves can't touch Meow, but I can touch it. You can only confuse me, and that is literally it. You can shadow ball me, you can't shadow sneak me. Mm, you can suck a punch, yeah, but. Go on, get for it. Don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself, don't hit yourself. Come on. Yes. Uh, rock rough. Switch into Grover. Let's go for a leaf blade. We're done there. So land it. I uh poison. I get a number. And go for an earth power. Dragon range is fine. Earth power should hopefully take you out. And last but not least, mischievous. I'm just going to like rock and we'll just do do a few bites. And just oh, yep, we finished so we just need the two. And that would be like rock to level twenty eight, and that would be game set and match. Seems we were wrong. Ah, uh, no, there's a high dragon. Damn it, come on! It was to be expected, wasn't it? it? Doesn't matter to me how powerful you are. You're we forced to try and battle here. It's an I. Hmm. Always resorting to conflict. Wait. When all conflict is set aside, could it be? Is it perhaps possible to accelerate the prophecy by overcoming my conflicts? Hmm, I suppose we should test that theory. Vixen? No! 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 Vixen! You literally just killed her! It's a shame that has to happen. Nevertheless, I suppose our little prophecy is fulfilled. Hmm, <coughs> what's this? Ah, of course. Fix and observe. This mystery man obtained the fire ring. Interesting. I've never seen anything quite like it. About your friend, it will all become clear in the end. Everything we do is necessary. I'm afraid her presence was clearly in the way of achieving what we truly desire. I want to apologize for doing what needs to be done. I'm sure we'll meet again in the future, Vixen. My name is Baron, and you'll do well to remember it. Farewell. They have straight up murdered her. They should just straight up. Right, let me see if I can um, get out of here now. Just trying to see if there's anything before we go. Before we leave. Some more invader. Wait, trainer. Anyway, I saw your incident with Crescent. It seems that you've managed to get a glimpse of into their methods. To be honest, they've been a thorn in my side for a while, but never to this extent. They don't usually show that level of violence. I suspect that if I didn't intervene, your friend would be gone. Like before, I have a Zato. 
My Zato has its methods. Zato, bring her back. Huh? What? Ah! Huh? I was- What? What happened? Hush. Safe now. My Zato used its psychic powers to teleport you to safety. You should consider yourself quite lucky. No. No way. I thought I was screwed. Looks like I owe you one. What's your name again? Adrian. The name's Adrian. Oh, Adrian. As in the gym leader, really? Fangirling again? Uh, Indeed, I am a gym leader. But let's be honest here. It's all just a tile. I'm more concerned about the events that just transpired. If you didn't die, Trina, then how did the prophecy complete? Uh, the whole thing was a little crap. I'm sure he was just using it as an excuse to get rid of some better... Someone... Rid of someone better than him. And all that the grunt was doing? That's what got them the wing. We're gym leaders, so we don't have time to believe in child children's bedtime stories. Perhaps you're right. But I cannot simply ignore a presence growing power in the lands I suppose I'm supposed to protect. For one, this was meant to be a major road. Now look at it. The bridge was collapsed, rendering the trade useless. As such, I will continue to pursue their efforts alone. Blitzen, is it? That was an interesting battle. Be sure to see real talent for myself and Celeste Silly. That's right, it's only a short walk from here. Oh well. Zatu. And that was some luck I didn't count on. Fix I'm so sorry. I got ahead of myself and I thought I could take him on another volcano with my grass types and ugh. You didn't actually think I was dead, did you? No Exactly. See you knew I was um, that I'm invincible. Stun's done, right? I need to heal up my Pokemon. I'll see you soon, okay? There's a Pokemon Center on the next route. There's also the Ranger Scout. Adrian used to be in charge of that too until she left to be the gym leader. Alright, see you soon, Vixen. Alright, I'm just gonna basically get out of here. Um, because that was scary. She almost died. Like, literally, legit almost died thanks to that Hydreigon. Uh, at least I know what he's got. Like, one of his Pokemon he's got when I battle him is the Hydreigon. Alright, we are out on Route 2. I'm going to end today's episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!